What up my dudes and dudettes, welcome back to another episode of Failing Up. Sorry it's been a while, I know I've been kind of MIA for a little bit. I got really busy with doing some work and my buddy came to town to visit. Didn't really plan on having episodes to fill in all those gaps, so my apologies, but... You suck! But I'm back now, so let's get to talking. Hey, my coworker, we uh, got to talking, and uh, it came up to an interesting topic, so I thought I'd bring it up here. We are talking about the difference between an artist and a craftsman and I think some people have a negative opinion about craftsmen they think artist and they maybe not a negative opinion I think when people think of artists they glamorize it they put it up on this pedestal of something that's amazing and there's a story behind it and lore and you want to aspire to be an artist nothing wrong with being an artist being an artist is where the passion comes from the drive to learn the drive to be better um, and to express yourself in the media of your choosing and you know try to push to society what your interpretation of it is or things that it should be made aware of or things you just want to say in regards to what's happening around you the craftsman is a little different where you're looking to produce a product and make money off of it you're looking to make something marketable that is going to great revenue being a craftsman as well you you're not doing your vision someone else has a vision and you're fulfilling it if I'm a watchmaker someone wants it for a timepiece that I come into my shop I'm making the timepiece I'm not gonna say well I took off the 12 because you know daylight savings is bullshit and whatever man this is some bullshit it's not about your opinion it's about fulfilling the needs of the client so I think it's interesting to think about going into a professional environment and you see the job listings everywhere looking for X amount of artists, looking for an animator, 2D artist, all this other stuff. Everything says artist, nothing says craftsman or equivalent or something similar to that. And I thought it was interesting. And so I think it's important to make sure people are aware of this at least. Um, I know when I had students talking to them about things like this they had these grandiose ideas that they wanted to exhibit but they were kind of missing the mark on fulfilling the steps and what they would actually be doing when they got into the industry when you get out there and you're doing 3d art or any art for that matter and you're working for a company they don't care about your vision they don't care about it whatsoever they 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 have a product that they're trying to make your job is to take it from whatever it is over here and bring it to fulfillment over there. <laughs> Example would be, you get a piece of concept art of a creature or character, let's say, and they want you to follow the concept art and make this character. Well, if they have the character as like a female, like tribal uh, type of character that uses a bow, you can't go, well, I resonate better with men. So I'm gonna make this chick a male. Uh, techno punks are cooler. So make her a techno cyborg android person. And instead of a ranged weapon, I'm gonna give her a battle ax. That's not going to fly. You won't have a job because you're not fulfilling what you're supposed to be doing. So what you need to do is take a step back and look at how you can tap into that artist inside of you. Um, being able to go into your wealth of knowledge of your experience and then how do you translate that into what this other person wants? How do you fulfill their vision while adding something to it? Um, a lot of times when you get concept art as example you won't have like a full turnaround or there'll be elements missing so how do you bring your artistry into those things that are missing to make it a fully fledged character one of the things i thought was interesting too is with the with being a craftsman versus an artist you know being an artist you can be an artist and be a craftsman at the same time they're not exclusive you can still create art in your off time you can still do what you want to do when it's not on someone else's dime. And that is important. I feel like 
with my students that was something that they had a hard time comprehending or at least being able to accept so i think being able to kind of take a step back and realize that you're a professional and you're going to produce something for a client or your boss or whoever that they're going to be happy with so i just thought it was important that um you know being able to distinguish the difference between artist and craftsman and i think when you go into production jobs and you're hired on to be like a sculptor or an illustrator or something like that for a company there's very specific things they're looking for and creative concepts necessarily aren't what those things are you can add those to the table when there's open-ended questions for sure but know you're there to fill a job and do that job not undermine the others that are around you uh, i just think it's important to remember um and just keep in mind i just thought it was interesting having that conversation with him uh and i just thought you guys would like to know about that all right guys well that's it for me hope you enjoyed it if you have any uh questions or comments leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe thanks we'll see you next time